Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I'm going to have a quick look at the Pine64 PineTap. Although at the moment it's not in stock, when you go to the forum, sometimes people will offer to sell it. So I found one on the forum and I paid for it, it was delivered and that's why there's no unboxing because it didn't come in the original box. Well, it's not uh, that the original box is anything special, but that means no unboxing and the charging cable is USB-A to a very thin barrel connector and well just in case when it gets lost the pine tap can also charge through the micro USB port so it comes with a keyboard cover and it has some magnets, so that explains why it folds like this. You can see a pattern here, because it means that you can fold it and then it turns into a stand for the tablet. Oops. Well, apparently you have to be a bit careful with the stand <laughs> probably it got stuck behind something so on the top there is the power button volume rocker and you can detach it from the keyboard there's some pogo pins on the bottom Uh, on this side, not really sure if it's really visible, but there is the um, audio jack, the charger port, USB A port, and I think this is the HDMI mini port. This is the micro USB port and there's a little thing here and yep this is where you can put in a micro SD card and it also closes again and on this side there isn't anything and on the back there's a camera so I guess that's all so yeah perhaps I'm not doing something right with the folding and when we switch it on or do I have to keep it pressed a bit longer? Yep. Here it comes. So mine was installed with Ubuntu Touch and well unfortunately it's not really in a finished state yet there are some quite obvious bugs with the touchpad that you cannot reach the whole screen with the touchpad touchpad 
Well, luckily there is a touch screen. So with the touch screen, you can get to all the to the whole screen. And also now with typing in the password, then yeah, at first there's no focus from the keyboard itself. So when you tap on this little keyboard symbol, then I was assuming yeah, ah, it pops up the software keyboard, but that's also the moment that the keyboard, the hardware keyboard itself activates. So let's see. Yeah, you can see the mouse pointer. Now I'm trying to scroll up, but no longer scrolls up. It seems to be blocked by something mysterious. I can go down and now all of a sudden it goes more up, but still not to the top. And uh, I've seen on the forum that this is a known bug and yeah, we have to wait until an update to Ubuntu Touch will fix this. Um, meanwhile, I'm also going to investigate Mobian, the mobile version of Debian. And as I said, it's, it's a touchscreen, so you can reach the whole screen with the touchscreen itself. And yeah, this is just a, a quick look and hopefully when the system images of either Ubuntu Touch and I'm going to investigate Mobian and when I find some usable system image then I will do a more thorough in-depth review of the Pine tab. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.